What's going on everybody, it's Quiddle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we have more Madden NFL 22 news. We have the Yard, Player Classes, and Superstar KO guys. Now of course, it is July 16th, which means we're getting closer and closer to Madden 22. Official release date 17th. E-Access early release, probably be, well from what I've read is the 12th, right? Which ironically is my birthday, which of course, just like last year, once again, sucks. But, the good news is... We're getting closer, which means a lot more Madden news. Now, Ultimate Team news typically starts like within a week, about a week before the game actually does drop, like like actually seeing like databases and stuff. So that should be like the first week of August, week and a half into August. But we will probably see, I think we get more Ultimate Team news uh, the week of the 20th of July, if I'm not mistaken, or late July. We get at least a little something, so that'll be pretty interesting. This is what we have for now. New features coming to Madden NFL 22. Uh, scrolling down now, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below and know what's up. Classes play a huge role in Madden NFL 22. Class progression carries over between the yard. Face of the franchise this year, meaning all the work you put in on the field in either mode carries over to the other. Along with face of the franchise, the yard features several exclusive classes. These classes specialize on both, on both the offensive and defensive sides of the ball. Mojo inspired by players like Jalen Ramsey, excels at the cornerback and wide receiver position. So you guys see here, Mojo, that's one of the new ones. A complete beast on the outside that specializes in route running and coverage. Mojo is the pinnacle of good hands and even better ability to take the ball away. So that's pretty interesting right there. That's like a Jalen Ramsey S field because you already have the freak, Goliath, Hitman, a QB. The freak inspired by play inspired by players like Chase Young and Von Miller, a wrecking ball at outside linebacker and halfback. Speed, power, intensity. The freak delivers hard hits on the defensive and offensive side of the ball. One hit from this dude and it's lights out. You can see a few more here. Infiltrator, Hawk, Lucky Sevens, Pathfinder, a bunch of new ones. I mean, the, the yard already, the yard was pretty cool this year, but it has a lot of work to be done, so it could be even better this year. Goliath, inspired by players like Travis Kelsey and Trent Williams, a versatile class combining the skills of a tight end, offensive linebacker, offensive lineman, and middle linebacker. Big, mean, nasty, Goliath wrecks competition with hard tackles and superb catching. This larger than life center does it all. Hitman, inspired by players like Harrison Smith and Jamal Adams, a deep bombing safety and quarterback. The last line of defense that gets the job done quickly and effectively, Hitman excels at coverage, uh, covering large chunks of the field while showing that arm strength and is everything. Again, another cool one. Bunch of new ones here. Unified progression. Class progression in Madden NFL 22 is completely unified. There are many classes that are shared between the face of the franchise and the yard. Each of these shared classes can be leveled up into either mode, allowing you to bring your power to wherever you want to play. This shared experience also includes, includes Superstar X Factor abilities. Unlock an ability inside of the face of the franchise, and it can be used in the yard and vice versa, which I do actually like, right? Because last year I enjoyed the yard, but there's times you don't want to play the yard alone, right? So if you don't want to play the yard alone, how are you going to go ahead and level up, right? You can't, you need a friend. And then when you play with your friend, your guy sucks. Instead, you can play face of the franchise now solo, which incentivizes you to build up your yard players. So that's pretty cool. As you continue to level up your classes, you will now earn abilities through the progression of the class. Level up enough classes, and now you can mix and match Superstar X Factor abilities between classes, creating your own custom build. Reach max level in level in multiple classes to begin sharing Superstar X Factor abilities, thus maximizing your power. Scrolling on down, each class will unlock skill points to spend inside of each of your skill buckets. Now. Like I said, this has always been cool. It kind of reminds me of 2K. I do like that they do implement things like this, like creating a player and stuff. I just hope they get it right this year. But otherwise, I'm a big fan of how everything's kind of going down with that for the most part. Um, you can apply these to your build that fits your player style with each, uh, in each class. So that's pretty cool as well. With a new challenge-based solo or co-op campaign, you can now sit, visit new fields lo located across the world, bat uh, battle boss characters with unmatched NFL talents and unlock gear for your avatar. That's pretty cool. The Yard campaign is divided up into four different chapters, each with its own set of venues and games. Similar to last year, defending each location will unlock your next set of venues. All right, so each venue has its own set of house rules. Okay, this is very similar to last year. Nothing you need to, no, nothing to care about with this. Every game has three goals. The first one is to simply win the game. The second is a statistical objective, such as passing for 150 yards. And the third is an in-game one, like diving into the end zone for a touchdown. I guess that's cool to get some extra, um, you know, points or to complete the rule or complete the game. Each venue will ask you right before the game, can you step up to the challenge? Can you step up and challenge that local location superstar boss? Take them down in two separate lead-up proven games to get a feel for the competition. This stuff is very generic. I mean, we know all this stuff. Even after you tackle the boss, the fun doesn't end there. Each venue will also feature a unique bonus game with the house rooms being pushed to their extremes and challenging a mix of players that's sure to keep things interesting. 
If you manage to emerge victorious, you'll unlock that spot's ultimate challenge in the form of a mastery game. And um, that's it. I mean, like it's gonna be it's gonna be a campaign. It, it sounds crazy that it really is as Hawaii. The Hawaii one actually looks pretty cool. Hawaii there is going to be London, Italy, Miami. We got Green Bay again, Berlin, Nike HQ, and we have the military base. That's the eight. Player recruitment, new to the yard in Madden 22 is the ability to not only face off against the highest profile superstar bosses, but to recruit them to your squad for future games. This year, a new option to auto-draft is fully up to you in every game while drafting your team before each game will give you the most control over ensuring squad energy. You will now have the option to jump straight into the action. So that's pretty cool, guys. Some people just want to play. They don't want to wait and draft. They just want to get right into the thing. And that and that's a fair and that, that's a fair statement, honestly, to be completely honest. So I'm cool with that. And then your rewards performing well, winning games, and knocking out certain stack goals will allow you to earn rewards. Perfection award. Perfectionist of the campaign will get a unique set of awards at their own. At every venue, if you knock off every objective at every game that has spots offered, you'll earn exclusive gear. That's pretty cool as well. Live events. Superstar Clash is the first live event of the year. It features a five-game gauntlet against Pro Bowl competition. Games are played on the brand new London field. We'll be adding live events. Think about real NFL uh, world events. Get a sneak peek. Superstar KO is back again in Madden 22. You'll be able to play quick games in unique stadiums with icons of football culture, authentic NFL teams, various stadiums that will also be available for the first time. Game modes. Uh, NFL teams are in Superstar KO. One of the biggest additions to Superstar KO is the ability to play as an NFL team. You'll be able to play which, whatever NFL team you want uh, and the option to play 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. You also have the ability to use the player friend feature. These NFL teams will also update with roster updates throughout the year. That's pretty cool as well. You pick your team first, then you pick your offensive playbook, then you pick, I'm assuming, your defensive playbook. All right, we know all this stuff already. This is just a generic Superstar KO stuff. With the infinite game type, you play for our longest win streak and compare on the global leaderboard, or you can play an exhibition for a single game event. And I believe you do get awards for this. Um, that looks like an ultimate team pack right there. You get a nat a 85 overall Aaron Rodgers Elite. That's pretty cool, depending on when you get it. Earn rewards as you play. Make sure to tune in next week to learn about the scouting and franchise from Madden NFL 22 as part of EA Spotlight Series on July 19th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So that does cover all the news for the Yard, Face of the Franchise, and Superstar KO. Now, of course, there's going to be plenty more. we got still more stuff in Franchise to release. They only showed us like about half of it, I'd assume. Then, of course... We do have the ultimate team news, so stay tuned for all that, guys. But before you do head on out, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite new thing in Madden 22. Like, you know, ultimate team's going to be ultimate team. Do you like the auction house change? Do you like the revamp franchise? I'm actually a big fan of the revamp franchise, so I really hope they do continue with that and they make sure that's, like, the best franchise we ever had. At least I hope so. But, yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.